everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a review of the Ever Classic Burberry Cashmere Scarf. Now that I have owned it for a full year, I feel like I can give you guys a great comprehensive review on this particular piece and if I think it is worth the price point. So this scarf was a gift from my husband to me. We actually went to the boutique together so I could pick it out and have the full boutique experience. It was just a really special experience that I will literally cherish for the rest of my life. So I actually did not purchase this particular scarf originally. I originally got this scarf. So this particular one was the one that I had my heart set on. So it's the uh, wool and silk blend lightweight scarf. This thing is like tissue thin in weight, but it's also large and could actually even be worn as a shawl. So you could wear it so many different ways and it felt like it was the most versatile of all the scarves because you know I'm all about that cost per wear and being able to have as many versatile pieces as possible within my closet because I do follow more of a capsule wardrobe concept within my own wardrobe. So it kind of seemed like a no-brainer for me to go that route. However, I had some serious issues with that scarf. So after two wears of that scarf, it started to completely come unraveled. I was so upset about that. And so I ended up taking it right back to the boutique and they deemed it as defective. And the sales associates that were working there tried to reassure me that this was just kind of like a fluke or a one-off thing. And they asked me if I wanted to exchange it just for the same product. However, I was not totally convinced. And here's the reason why. While there's no doubt that that scarf was absolutely beautifully crafted, it does have some design flaws, at least in my opinion. So because of the delicate nature of those particular fibers and with the edges being unfinished, if you catch that last little thread on something and it gets pulled on something, it's going to come unraveled. So if you had your eye on that particular scarf, I would strongly encourage you to reconsider for something else. I personally don't believe that it was a one-off issue. I just think that it's just the nature of the fabric and a design flaw combination. So I would highly recommend that you do not go that route. So I told the sales associates I definitely wanted to get a scarf, but I just wanted to try something different. And originally I tried on the original OG scarf, the original Burberry scarf. It comes in a wide variety of colors, which is awesome. And when I tried that one on, you know, and I'm so glad that I actually was physically in a store to try on the scarf, I was not that in love with it because the original length and width was just not long enough for it to be versatile enough for me. Now they do have one that is like super oversized and that one I was not interested in either, but there's actually one that is kind of like a middle ground between the two. And that is the one that I have to share with you today. I'm also happy to report that I have had zero issues with wear and tear. Like the silk and wool blend scarf on the edges, they are unfinished. So uh, that is something to just note and for you to keep in mind. However, uh, because of the nature of cashmere um, and because it is a more thick and durable material, um, I have not had any issues with it coming undone or anything like that. Um, and it's just really a testament to the quality quality of the grade of cashmere and the craftsmanship that goes behind it. So, um, and honestly, you guys, it looks pretty much brand new. It looks just as good as the day that I bought it. And I have worn this so many times. I've also spilled like countless amounts of coffee and other beverages on this scarf, and it still looks good. Pretty much with any other cashmere piece in my wardrobe, I have had to use a fabric shaver on it here and there just to kind of get off those little fabric fuzzies. But this scarf, I've actually never had to do that with. Um, so that's really awesome. It's been very low maintenance in terms of care. 
But other than that, I do steam it from time to time to kind of kill off any germs or bacteria. And I do spritz it with a little bit of the Laundress little fabric refresher uh, if I feel like it needs it. And honestly, you guys, between spot cleaning, steaming, and the fabric refresher, that's all I've needed to do to it. I haven't had to dry clean it. Now, of course, if I did get a large stain or something on it like that, I would take it to the cleaners. But um, honestly, I try to not do something like that just because it's very high cost and it's a little nerve wracking to drop off something this special and this expensive to the cleaners, in my opinion. Um, and I really think that you can just easily care for this at home yourself. I don't really think it's necessary to get it dry cleaned. So if you definitely have not invested in a steamer, now is the time really because having a steamer um, available to me has really dramatically changed how my entire wardrobe honestly um, has lasted. It's really just helped to make my clothes and accessories last a lot longer um, and including this scarf. So I'm gonna break away really quickly and share with you guys three different ways that I tie this scarf and how I wear it. To wrap things up, I want to conclude this video with my thoughts around is this particular piece worth the price point? Is it worth the investment? What are my thoughts around that? So the short answer is 100% yes, you guys. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. If something happened to it, I would absolutely go right back out and repurchase the exact same scarf. It is worth every single penny. Now, do you have to necessarily purchase this brand new from the boutique? Absolutely not. Um, I see these scarves pop up all the time on various resale websites, particularly like The Real Real has a ton of them, you guys. Especially if you want the smaller, true classic style, you can get one on The Real Real, I think for like a little over $100, uh, in which that is a super amazing savings to you. But I will say that buying this brand new from the boutique, getting the full experience and knowing that it is truly going to last you a lifetime. It's never going to go out of style. It literally goes with every single neutral that you could have in your wardrobe. So because of that, in my opinion, it is totally worth it to just splurge and treat yourself to a brand new scarf directly from the boutique. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any designer scarves in your wardrobes. Do you own a classic Burberry scarf or do you own something completely different? I'd love to hear which scarves you guys are loving and recommend because I'm always looking to add more designer accessories to my wardrobe to spice things up. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!